peekaboo. Peekaboo, peekaboo, peekaboo. Ooh, what do we have here? Some scribbles and some stones. What kind of magic could happen? We're about to find out. The title of this book is Scribble Stones. This book was written and illustrated by Diane Albert, and it was published by Diane Albert Art. Here we go, friends. This story is about one happy stone who was gray and round and rarely alone. He lived with the others all stacked in a pile and waited calmly with a large, friendly smile. Each stone had a purpose, but it wasn't known yet. Some would be landscaping and some a stone pet. There were so many things that the stones could be. The hardest part was just waiting to see. Stone knew that his purpose would brighten someone's day. He just wasn't sure how or in what kind of way. He imagined the things that he might soon become as he watched all the stones get picked one by one. But his happy face slowly turned into a frown as he watched the tall pile start to dwindle on down. And although he was worried, he tried not to care until it was clear he was the last one there. Then it finally happened. Stone was quickly picked up. He was placed on a desk next to a very large cup. As Stone looked around, he thought, this is so great. But soon he discovered he was a dull paper weight. I'm supposed to bring happiness, not hold paper still. There must be a mistake. This just can't be my skill. Then, all of a sudden, a splatter flew high, and then some bright scribbles came wiggling by. They were headed right toward the short paper stack, and they filled up the paper on the front and the back. They were all making art. It was happening so fast. Stone feared that the paper would simply not last. He couldn't believe just how much the pile grew. Then he heard a small cry from the fun splatter crew. We knew that this pile was getting too tall. There's no more paper. We have used it all. The scribblers all cried. They now saw it too. This is a disaster. Oh, what will we do? Stone didn't want the scribbles to cry, so he thought of something that they all could try. He slowly rolled down the very large pile and said, I know how to make you all smile. I know I'm not paper, but I like art too. Do you think you could spare some red, yellow, and blue? They loved the idea and could not wait to start. Scribble began making a happiness heart. Splatter then painted some pale baby blue. Another scribble added a sunny gold hue. It didn't take long before more stones showed up and soon the line grew behind the very large cup. To Stone's surprise, he was picked up once more. He had never heard of this happening before. More art was added and he was on his way to become a small gift to brighten someone's day.
Nearby, another stone's journey had begun. He was spreading such happiness and having great fun. Each time he traveled, someone added their part. Sometimes just a scribble, sometimes fancy art. With each new layer, there was a story to share, and soon scribble stones were seen everywhere. They traveled the planet. It was quite an event, bringing happiness and fun wherever they went. Now, thousands of stones inspire creativity each day, all because of a paperweight with a will and a way. And then on the very back, the author artist gives you some advice of how to create your own stone art. And when I picked up this book today, I remembered that a friend gave me this stone. Look at it. I think it could be the character in this book. What do you think? You think I should add some art? I certainly should give him some eyes, right? And a smile because he's happy. I don't know, friends. If you make some scribble on some stones, I sure would like to see it. I miss you, friends. Mwah.